Alright guys, so today I'm, I'm going to pull an old trick out of a YouTube playbook called uh, I don't really have a good idea, but I have a bunch of random things laying around that I can mash together and make a video out of. So that's what we're going to do. I have a bunch of items from Amazon and Wish that I bought at like 3 a.m. and then realized that they just weren't really good enough to put into a main video. So I'm just going to kind of compile those into this video. So hopefully it turns out decent. This first one. This is actually one that I bought for a Wish Wednesday that looked cool, but it ended up being just a pile of garbage. So this, <laughs> this is supposed to be a fireball shooter is what it's advertised as. And all it is, is it's just like two pieces of, of metal tube with two buttons, nine volt battery. And then there's two uh, little tiny coils in the back that glow, that glow red hot. What the ad said on Wish was that you were supposed to take a piece of toilet paper, wad it up into a ball, and push it down there, and then once it's against the coil in the back, you're supposed to be able to just push the button, and then it's supposed to shoot out. Oh, imagine that. I can't believe it. My fireball shooter is not shooting fireballs. It's just lighting the toilet paper on fire. Who would have guessed? As you'd guess, it does not work. It just burns the toilet paper. So, I don't know... Who tested this or who came up with this, but this thing was complete garbage. Next, go ahead and I'll get this one out of the way real fast. This was supposed to be, on, on Wish, this was advertised as a blender. It showed a picture of an entire blender, but all I got was the spinny sharp piece and no blender to make it go vroom vroom. I was going to make a video testing a blender from Wish, but obviously since this is what arrived, that video is not possible. That's awesome. Also, trash. This one actually is very cool. I just don't really know what I would do with it to really like test it in a like, you know, to really make like make a video out of it like I do everything else. This one is a torch lighter. I don't know, how, I don't know exactly how it works. I don't know if it has something inside of here or what, but it makes the flame, you can see it, makes the flame red. I don't know how how it does that. There's got to be like it seems like it's running out of butane, but it has a red flame. I don't know if there's like something deep inside of it. Wow, how convenient that it just happens to run out of butane right when I'm filming the video. <sighs> Good thing I have some more. Oh, I just realized there's an adjuster on here. Maybe that's a little too much. <laughs> Why is that happening? This is not supposed to be one of those types of lighters. Oh. Why does that happen? So it works good if you use it this way, but as soon as you tilt it this way, you're in trouble. I think lighters are supposed to have some type of, like, valve or something, or... Yeah, I think they're supposed to have some sort of a valve that keeps the liquid butane from leaking out, which I think is what's happening. Anyway, so, like I said, I don't really know, like, what I would do with this other than... <laughs> now it's not even working straight up. Maybe it needs to sit for a minute. Alright, so we seem to be alright now, I think. Alright, we're good. So, what we're going to be testing is the only thing that they showed in the commercial that even interested me into buying this. One, the red flame, which we know works. And two, they had a pop can and they were like melting the pop can with this. I don't know if that's going to work, but we'll try. So. No way. That's actually melting. And that was really, really fast. Mm, it's not quite melted. It's deforming though. We're running out of butane again. How are we running out? Okay, so that's pretty cool. I didn't, th I didn't think that it was gonna do that. I thought maybe it would just heat it up enough to change colors. I didn't know that it would like deform it that way. So that's pretty cool. If maybe I'm <laughs> excited for nothing, like will a regular blowtorch just do that exact same thing? Oh, wow. So that's nowhere near the power <laughs> of, a, of a regular blowtorch.
Okay, so that's not, not not quite as impressive as I thought it was. I mean, it was a good try. Overall, I mean, for the probably $10 I paid for it, I mean, it's cool. All right, guys, so before we go any farther, this video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. So most of us are carrying around these old style wallets that look like this, and these things are just big and bulky. So just throw these away. Ridge Wallet is small, it's sleek, it's durable. It holds 12 credit cards that are easy to get in and out. It also has a nice money clip on the back. Very nice. They also have a lifetime warranty, so you can buy this one wallet and carry it for life. And if you're interested in buying one of these wallets, but you're not sure if you're gonna like it, you can buy one and test drive it for 45 days. And if you don't like it, you can send it back for a full refund. So it's a very good deal. If you are interested in one of these wallets, you can click the link in the top of my description. Use code TylerTube at checkout and you will get 10% off plus free worldwide shipping. So next on the list is the Handy Bright uh, as seen on TV light. I don't know what I was gonna do with this. It's it's a light there I mean what how much can you really test with a light? I mean all we really have to do is just kind of make sure that it works pretty much don't need any of that. Oh, it has a magnetic base Yeah, the magnetic base works Oh, it has a hook Oh, the hook works. Okay. And then the light works. Woo, what an interesting test that was. Is it durable? Oh yeah, it is durable. Look at that. All right, so there you go. That's my full review. It works, the magnetic work, the magnetic base works, hook works, it's durable. Great. I think I just broke it. I literally just said all of that good stuff about it, and then I broke the base off of it and the magnet. So maybe it's not as durable as I thought. Well, for this next one, I, I brought out the, the block of ballistics gel. <laughs> so you know it's gonna be something good, or semi-good, I guess. What I did was I bought, I bought this, which was a, is a whip from Wish. And I was gonna test a whip on Wish Wednesday. You can see that this is pretty much crap. For one, it's stuck like this, so it doesn't like whip right. It, it's made out of like, I don't even know really what it's made out of. I could maybe, maybe kind of straighten it out and make it halfway decent. I thought what I was buying was something that was gonna be on par with the uh, Stinger Tactical Whip, which everybody loved whenever I did this video. So I figured a whip from Wish would probably be right up there, but I was just not impressed with this thing. It's just, it just does not impress me. Like, yeah, it, you can you can whip with it, but it's just, it's too flimsy and it's just, it's not that good. I don't know what the handle's made out of, but the whole thing is all flexible. It has like almost no weight to it at all. I don't know. It's just, it would, it was just gonna be a very bad video. So I just decided to skip, skip reviewing this. What can you really expect from Wish? So for these next ones, we have moved outside. <laughs> these are the next ones. These are called power knees. You're supposed to put these like on the, on the backs of your legs and it's supposed to, <laughs> I guess, give, your, give you more power, take pressure off your knees or whatever. I don't know what you would need these for unless you're gonna like, I don't know, try to win like a leapfrog competition or something. Ignore my pasty white legs. I don't see the sun much. So we got two straps here. Is that supposed to go through here? Oh, it is. Oh. Well, let me tell you. I'm feeling powerful. I think I have this one on backwards. It's like a three-year-old trying to lace up his shoes for the first time. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, first impressions. My knees have never felt more powerful in my life. Let me just... <laughs> they're not even really doing anything. Like, look. Like, they're bending. Whenever I, whenever I just, like, take, like, a normal step, they just, like, dig into my calf. Like, they're really, like, not... <laughs> they don't really do anything. You can't even go down all the way. Like I can, I can bend down to about like 
like here, and like that's as, that's as low as I can go. Normally, I can go all the way to the ground. And then, whenever you walk, like, if I'm just taking a, just, a, just a normal step, they literally don't even do anything. They just like, they just like almost prevent me from like, taking a full step. If you wanted to like leapfrog, like, <laughs> that doesn't, <laughs> you couldn't even, you couldn't even win the leapfrog competition with these things. These things suck, like bad. It's actually, it's, it's more painful to bend down now than it was before, which before I had no pain. So this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. All right, this is our last thing right before we, right before we run out of daylight. We have the Bionic Flex water hose. This is another one of those things that I bought, thought it'd be a good idea, and then I realized, how many tests can I really do with a water hose? Either, it kind of either works or it doesn't. So it claims to be uh, kink resistant, is its main thing, and that's really what I want to test, because this is my current water hose. It's a El Cheapo, and I forget where it is. There's a certain, yeah, right there. There's a certain spot that just kinks every single time, no matter what, and there's like, probably a hundred spots throughout this water hose where it's just it's been kinked before and it just kinks super easy so hopefully that does not happen with this one well we ran out of daylight but what are you gonna do so I have the new hose installed and it's not as good as you think so <laughs> we can spray it obviously but it's still you can still kink it off because of this handle that it has on here it easily kinks around the handle which isn't a huge deal it, it still kinks down here relatively easy although I don't think that it would kink the same way the old hose would I don't know maybe 40% better or something because it still kinks but it's not just not as much as the old one there's your water hose review